In module seven, we're going to create an assessment. So uh, we need to go under add an item and click add assessment. And we can name our assessment anything we want. So I'm going to call this homework one. And you want to put your summary here like this homework is on fractions or whatever you'd like. And then under instructions, you want to put stuff like you have two chances and after that you have to get a new problem. Or every time you get it wrong, you get a new problem, but you lose 10% uh, um, for each additional one you do. Um, so put your instructions there, however you want to set it up. So that's going to be based on what you put in for your uh, assessment options down here. Usually assessments, we want them, um, I, I generally have them always available um, from the start. And then there's an end date here. Uh, so that it's always available ahead of time, but then they have to have it done by the 13th um, or whatever date you pick. And um, keep open as a review. I like to always keep it open as a review so that they can still do it. They just don't get credit for it. Now you can pick a different uh, assessment that you have already and use the same options um, for this assessment as you did for your previous ones. In 102, you'll learn more about all of these um, options here. Um, but just to give you an idea, you can pick how many points problems are worth and how many attempts you want to give the students right here. Now, if you give them multiple attempts, then you can also deduct 10% for each one they get wrong. Uh, feedback method is just, uh, you know, do you want them to see the answer if they get it wrong? or not, and then, um, oh, actually that's under short, show answers. Uh, feedback is um, you pick one of the seven options. So if it's a homework, then it's going to show the score on each question as it's submitted and allow a similar question to replace the next question. But if it's a practice test, um, then it's going to show the score on each question as it's submitted and they can restart the test, but the scores are not saved. So you're going to pick one of these options here, depending on what type of assignment it is. Um, then there's help options. So um, I generally always leave this one checked because that's just showing them how to put things in. Um, not, not the math itself, but just, you know, if they need an exponent, it tells them how to put an exponent. Um, but I usually have post this question to a forum and then I pick my forum that I want them to use to put it under and um, oh this is I had that wrong show answer entry tips that's the one that I always leave tech now handsome video that if it's an exam you probably want to check it off but for homework you want them to have the option to watch a video for help and uh, you again you'll have to pick your gradebook category and then put a calendar icon there. So probably homework one would be good. And then when it's in review mode, it just says R. Um, so again, you'll get more details on that when you take move 102. But for now, we're just going to create our assessment. And um, it, then you're taken to the place where you're going to pick questions out for it. But uh, for now, since this is more of a move 102 thing, we're just going to click done right here. And you can always come back and add questions to it later. So if we look under module seven, we have our homework here. If you want to add questions to it, just click on questions. If you need to change the settings, click on settings. You can delete it, you can copy it. Or you can look at the grades for it. That is a nice tool if you want to see what problems your students are having trouble with. It doesn't show any student names, so you can actually pull that up in class. It'll just say that, you know, only 50% got this one right, uh, you know, 80% got this one right, etc.